Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. I'm just editing last week's weekly vlog, which I'll, by the time you're watching this, obviously that's already live, so that should be up and I'll leave it linked if you missed last week's. This video is actually part of an ongoing collaboration that I have with Squarespace where I am redesigning my website. I'm going to talk more about that later on in this video and show you where I'm up to with that. And if you don't know, Squarespace is an online platform that allows you to build, create, design your own website. So if you have any kind of like business ideas and you want to get started with your own website, then I will leave a link down below where you can get a discount off your first purchase. But for today, I am heading to a place in Stockport whereby I am going to get my hair done with Neil and Wolf. We're going to a salon called Ash and Lydia's going. I think Charlotte as well, another friend of ours is going. I'm going to head over a little bit earlier because there is a pretty big home sense about an eight minute drive from the salon. I'm not getting it like coloured or cut or anything, but they're going festival inspired. So I will be doing like a before and after over on my Instagram. If you don't already follow me, it's Freya Farrington one And I also have the homeware account, Freya Farrington Home, if you like the homeware updates and stuff like that. Like today, for instance, when I go around home sense, I'll be posting on my homeware account. So I'll see you guys when I get to Stockport, which FYI might be a place that we're looking to move to. Maybe, we'll see. I've never been here before. I'm gonna spin you around and show you what I can see. So there in the distance we've got the range, just behind it Dunelm, Home Bargains, Wilco's, Next, TK Maxx and Home Sense, Gap, New Look, H&M, and there in the distance behind me, B&M. Halloween. Oh my god, I've just turned this corner. <gasps> Is it too early? But all the good stuff goes. Size of these candles are ridiculous. I like the colour scheme as well. I mean, look, hand for comparison. And then there's Heritage Pumpkin, Pumpkin Marshmallow. Very sweet. This, I have this from last year actually. I did not know it lights up. $4.99. I like these three. I don't remember seeing them last year. $3.99 for that one. This one at the back is $9.99. That is heavy. And then this one, $4.99. Obviously, as you can tell, I like the golds. I think as soon as it gets to September, but we are still, you know, middle of August. <laughs> oh. $3.99 though, I bet that'll go straight away as well. And this one $4.99, they look quite cute side by side. Maybe all three of them. Cute. Oh, Autumn Harvest, that sounds nice. $7.99. Wow, that is nice. I don't like the label though. Oh my God, that's so good. For the best faux flowers. I feel like no one beats Home Sense. 
This is a section I particularly want to look at. Oh, they're not as color coordinated at this one. Spotting Halloween. I'm tempted to put colors like this into our house, like the rusts and warm tones, um, but probably not until September, I'm thinking. That's a nice throw, DKNY. I love the idea of this uh, gratitude planner. It sort of guides you. And yeah, I love that, but I just, I'm not a fan of this pink pattern. And that honestly would put my feng shui off. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it, but if you guys know of any other places that do these, let me know. So I have a full trolley. I'm not gonna show too much because I wanna do a full haul. I'm gonna go downstairs now, have a browse at the clothes, then head to the salon. Look at this for a discount, 1450 down to 50. Jill Sander coat. They have so many like highly discounted items. In fact, let me show you the dresses that I've picked up. This one is mango in this gorgeous like coral colour. Are you ready for this? £1.70. <laughs> and then I've got another one in here as well. Again from Mango, and it's £2.50. Nice little slip dress. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. I love this Puma jumper, it's in a large. 19.99. I can see Lydia. She is parked further up at the, the restaurant. <laughs> the salon is just behind us. Oh, that's probably her now. Let's see what she's saying. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to just chill out and have a coffee, to be honest, and a catch up with the girls. What's getting our hair done? We're reunited at last. <laughs> We're just about to go into Oh, I know. What weather. No. Horrible. Um, me and my mum are looking at going away in two weeks and we're looking at Palmer. Oh, girl. Yeah. yeah. They've got some really good deals at all Monaco. Oh, yeah. I, to be honest, I've got Palmer to Monaco. Oh, do you? Yeah. No, we're here. Have been to No. I'd love to go. I think we should go to Palmer. Oh, really? Yeah. Monica. Okay. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello like bubble braid plaits, like that. Oh, love that. Oh, that's pretty as well. I don't know about the turquoise color. No, why don't you go for the turquoise? I'd, if I was gonna go any color, it'd probably be more of a pastel pink or lilac or something, but no. No color. So I've just been looking at Pinterest and finding some festival inspired images that we're gonna do. And this is kind of what I'm looking at. Let me just show you like a bubble braid like this. Maybe even two of them, but all the way down. We'll see what we end up with. But I've just said to my stylist pretty much just do whatever you think will look good. We'll see how it turns out. Say hi, Aaron. <laughs> Lydia's there. Wave, Lydia. Oh, hi. Where's Charlotte? Wave, Charlotte. Wave. Hi. <laughs> distractions will get away this is what we waited for oh, take my hand we'll make it somehow we can't miss out oh, i'm done living life with 
cute little feathers that we could add in. I like this, these ones. Yeah, natural ones. Are lovely. Yeah, the naturals. Cute. And we've got all that glitter, but I'm going to say no to the glitter. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to a natural festival, I'd think maybe down the parting would be quite yeah, nice. Yeah. But I'm just not going to get it out. <laughs> and I'm going straight to bed after this, so. This is really awful. I may do a feather. Okay. Maybe do a feather. Well, mind you, it's in a flat, isn't it? You can't really do a feather in a flat. I really like it so far. What we've done is we've done the bubble braid, I think they're called, or bubble braid, whatever they're called. You'll see in a second. But then when it sort of like hits the nape of my neck, we've changed it into a fishtail plait, which is another one that I love. So yeah, loving the look of it so far. And this one is finished. <laughs> Well, I was just going to say yes, but actually my hair is in braids, so I don't think that'll work. Otherwise I wouldn't. Could do some in this bit here. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe. At the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Let's have a look. Oh my god, this is exciting. Oh, look at the little turtles. Oh, I like the leaves. I just like gold, so any of the gold ones really. We're basically gonna put those on these little bubble bits just to hide them, or help hide them, and obviously make it more festival inspired. Yeah. <laughs> the jewels are going in. Yeah, Lydia just said this could be my new house. I don't know about this street in particular, but who Further knows? Further down. Yeah. These are the sort of houses that I like though. Um, not those ones. You know, like with the bay windows. Yeah, I like a bay window. Um, we're out. We've had our I'll... hair done. Lydia went for a bit of glitter. Show them. Oh, literally. Just Why are we stood in the middle of the road? Well, there's no traffic. <laughs> but I just I'll knew that I would regret it. How do you get back to the motorway down here and then to the left? I I'm pretty sure I remember going all the way down. Oh, you probably can. But that's because I was parked further down last time. Well, I'm parked further down. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Yeah. So we've not really had a proper chance to catch up because we've been getting our hair done the whole time. Mm, well, I'm going to wait here for Tom because I think he's going to come and join me. We might get some food before heading home. Because he's in Manchester. Mm, oh, you will be in Manchester soon. Tomorrow. We're going to see him tomorrow. How exciting. I'm going to be coming over. All, all the time. time and we're gonna go for food all the time oh i'm done it you can just like walk out and then like, uh, there's no pressure oh should we just go to san shoot. carlo yeah sure yeah. just want to go for a drink yeah i oh, just yeah. need to quickly shoot this out yeah just make it up I'm gonna save myself a whole post of time. I know, I'm so jealous. Mm. Well, no, because we're 50 yeah. 50. We're like city You're center or bothered. somewhere like here, which is 10 minutes to the city. Moving. Well, her, her sister's just bought in Didsbury. And bye, bye <laughs> sister. Um, my her sister's just bought in Didsbury, and her um, and she's looking to rent in Didsbury. Cool story, bro. <laughs> I thought I'd do a little unboxing of the Neil and Wolf products that we were kindly gifted. So we have a volumizing mist for all hair types a volumizing shampoo and daily conditioner and then we have the hold and shine hairspray and a heat protection so thank you so much to neil and wolf it was so much fun creating this festival inspired look if you want to see before and afters head over to my instagram and now i'm gonna edit the before and afters and post them i use just in case you're interested facetune lightroom and sometimes visco here he is you can see him. What do you reckon? Yeah. Festival? Does it look like a festival? Yeah. Leonis. What does that remind you of? Like a suit. Yeah, like a shirt suit or something. So we've come to Leone's. Recommendations, meant to be quite nice here. Um, Italian, this is our setup for the evening. We've got three starters. And some chips. It's not coming out, it's meant to look like that. Uh, this, is, this isn't a regular plait, this is a fishtail braid. And then this is a bubble plait. 
bubble braid. But where it's coming out, like here. Like where? Like that bit? No, no, don't pull it out. That bit? Yeah. Yeah, it's meant to be pulled out. Oh, boys just don't get it. Woohoo! I didn't think the prawns would look like that. I thought they coming out. Yeah, like a dipping thing. Calamari. Caesar salad. Lots of cheese. <laughs> And chips. I love how you position the chips next to me. <laughs> we're nearly home. We're probably about 15, 20 minutes off, and we're just gonna stop in at McDonald's. I'm just gonna get a mini McFlurry. I am. They even exist. Yeah, you've had one before. No need to add in sound effects. Hi, please. Hi, what flavour McFlurries do you have, please? We've got Oreo Sparky, Sparky's and Flicks. Uh, yeah, can I... You don't have Crunchy? No. No. Um, oh. Twix, please. Oh, oh. Anything else? Um, do you do it in the mini version? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just have that, please. Anything else? Uh, no. Do you want anything? No. That's it. Thank you. Let's get some 99p. I'm pretty sure I remember McFlurries used to be 99p. Yeah, that's how old you are. How old? Oh, no. That's not good. Do you run this one? Yeah. Have you ever done this before? I'll get this. <laughs> That's how that hurts, you know, still. Shut your bowl. Oh. No, don't, Tom, don't. Honestly, don't, because you'll make me feel faint and then I won't enjoy my ice cream. Don't. I'm not even going to be Thank you. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Tweaks my I've never had it. They've taken off crunchy. Thank you. Thank you. I there's no toffee sauce on like I was expecting. There will be, it'll be inside. Oh, what? Oh. Careful because the lid's just coming off. I'd have got a big one if you wanted it. I want a little bit. A little bit? You did that with the Diet Coke earlier. I'll just have a sip. Two massive gulps later, half the Diet Coke oh, gone. Out of ten. Six. Ooh, six. That's harsh. I'm gonna give it eight. Crunchy's an eight and a half. So it's only a half less than a crunchy. Yeah. I quite like Twixes. I think the Oreo would be quite good as well. No, we can't do that. Do they put this stuff down the spoon or is that me making that up? I got, um, oh, I'll you making that up. I got my mum's friend the car today. Brand you new. bought her one? Well, you, like, got her one, yeah. Brand new mini, Countryman SD, 35% off. 35%. Mm. I'm thinking, I need a new car, guys. If Tom can get a good deal on a Mini, maybe I should go for a Mini, but I've never really been into Minis. That two petrol as well, that might have been a good for you then. Not automatic. It's a Mini. Uh, Countryman SD. Yeah. Are you going to change gear or? I'm going to change gear for sure. Really? So this is the Citroen C3 Flare, I think this is called. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I was thinking Audi, BMW, something like that which is what I've had in the past Audis, and I've liked them. <sighs> Any suggestions? I just don't know about Mini. I mean, if it's a good discount, but I've never... 
Okay, you know some it. people love minis. That's never been me. Anyway, it's too dark and the rain's now loud. So I'm gonna enjoy this Twix, go to bed, and I'll see you soon. Good morning, it is Friday today, and today, myself and Tom, we're having a day night in. So I'm working from home all day. I've just been filming all morning. I've got candles burning over there and everything. So I've done very autumnal videos. I've filmed two this morning, one of which was a home sense haul, one of which was a Primark haul. And it included this letterboard, which I'm gonna put downstairs on our drinks trolley. And I want like a little message on it. And I thought pick your poison is good for like Halloween maybe. I don't know if it's too early to put up pick your poison. I kind of want to save that for Halloween. So my secondary message was probably gonna be gin o'clock or it's gin o'clock maybe i don't know i don't know but i'm gonna try and style that up on our drinks trolley it was only six pounds so i am gonna do some work this afternoon i'm not gonna vlog too much of today but i thought i would include this little date night in with me and tom later on because we asked you guys over on instagram to pick from our choice of starter main and dessert for tonight so we're gonna go three courses tom's doing starter and main and i'm gonna try and attempt the dessert D dessert is gonna be a resounding win because it's the only one that doesn't keep going back and forwards and it is peach and biscoff kind of eaten mess style dessert which tom's cooked for us in the past and it's lovely it's nice and fresh and easy to do or sticky toffee pud of which 72% is saying sticky toffee. So it's gonna be that. When Tom gets home, I'll be picking up the camera again. In fact, I might even do it when I'm making my sticky toffee to see how I go with that. <sighs> I was like, oh no, we just buy one. And Tom went, no, that's cheating. The whole point of date night in is that we cook for each other. And I'm like, well, they do a pretty good sticky toffee pudding at our local supermarket. I could just pick that up with some cream. The starter, I think the one that's gonna win is the garlic prawns. The other one was baked camembert, which was my choice. But for mains, we had steak and chips or pasta. Right, I'm gonna crack on with some work and I'll pick you guys up when I start my sticky toffee pudding. I love sticky toffee pudding. What do you have it with? Do you have custard? Do you have cream? Do you have ice cream? I like clotted cream, personally. Um, I think Tom has cream and ice cream. Yum. I've got a list in my bag, shopping list, and I've got 25 quid, which if you saw last week's vlog, I got some scratch cards for Tom and like a little love you card thing, I don't know. You'll know what I'm talking about if you saw last week's vlog. And we actually won 25 pounds on scratch cards. So I'm gonna see if we can get all of the ingredients and everything that we need for today with 25. I think it'll be fine. We were gonna get wine, but I've just spoken to Tom on the phone and neither of us drink that much. We're not that bothered. We've got an early start in the morning and you know, we're just like, mm, we'll just have a Diet Coke. How much did we spend in total? I don't know, tell me. No, I'm wanting you to guess. I'm gonna go, uh, I'll take this. 18 pounds. Did you see the receipt? No. You did. I you swear on my life. 18 pounds. Mollocks, what, straight, exactly 18. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go on, give me an exact number. 18 pounds and 23 pence. Oh, 57. Yeah. But that's so minus. You could, have got, you could have got wine included and still be under it. Then. Yeah, but we didn't need everything. So we didn't need olive oil. And that's not including the sticky toffee that I bought earlier. Ah, right. So that was three pounds plus a couple of quid for some cream. Bit of over budget then, eh? No, it's just under. And it's foods. So it's not exactly oh, yeah, the right. most affordable supermarket. Oh, yeah, I've not mentioned the fact that. I didn't have a chance to cook it. Wait, what? The sticky toffee. Oh, no, you did do it, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I mean, I did do it, yeah, yeah. Um, so I could have easily, okay, maybe not easily baked it, but I wanted to try and bake it. But I was going down the ingredients list, and the first one, dates. So I went to pick them up. They were just under three pounds. 
And I thought, oh God, there's a whole list of stuff to get yet. And we're getting three course meal. So let me just see how much the sticky toffee puddings are. And they had these like artisanal ones that are cooked locally um, on offer from five pounds down to three. They're quite a big portion as well. Um, so I just got them because yeah, I'm not gonna justify it any more than that. <laughs> And also I was busy today. I had, I've not stopped working. I'm still working now, so. Mm. Oh. You, oh God, I can't watch this. What have you done there with that? Chopped it in half and put it in. With oil? Loads of oil. So this is our starter you're making? Yeah. Which is? Garlic prawns with chilli, lemon, parsley. Butter to finish it off as well. And we're going to put it on sourdough bread. Is that the right one? That is the right one. Well done. Thank I'm God for that. Bit, a little bit proud here. A little bit. <laughs> Look at this with the tea towel over there. <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> and the, <laughs> the chef's hat. Chef's hat? <laughs> For Maine, we were going to go for an aubergine tomato pastry type dish, but instead we've changed it up to carbonara. Course one for our date night. Oh, prawn down. Mm. Mm. I can't believe how much the prawns shriveled down. So we'd go to a butcher if we were to do it again. Like a real place. You said that on camera. <laughs> What is it? Fish mongrel. Place that does meat or fish. <laughs> Rating out of ten, go. Eight. Mm. Oh, now it's time. Woo! This is the testing bit now. If it, if it turns to scrambled egg, you have to do it again. No, we'll just have it. I like scrambled egg. Go, 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 go! I wonder if any Italians are watching this right now. Thinking that's ridiculously bad. No, just, they might be thinking, wow, he really knows what he's doing. He's not put mushrooms in there. He's not put cream in there. Sounds great. Here's some more. I'm prepped and ready with the parmigiano. Fork down. Fork here now. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm impressed with that. Good. <clears throat> so a little closer for this bad boy. Mmm. Not heavy, is it? Not at all. Yeah, it's very light. It's not very stodgy. See? We stopped in unison then. Delicious. I'm going to give this a nine. Yeah. I'll be happy with that in Rome. Mm. I'm bumping it up to a 9.5. Because that is really good. It's been how long? An hour since we ate. Watched an episode of Orange is the New Black. Keep creaming there. And oven has been preheating that whole time. So we're ready to put in the homemade sticky toffee pudding. Look at that. 15, 20 minutes. Ray Fairy Tony. Someone ready for their dessert? Three of three. Ten out of ten. <laughs> More sauce needed. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say because of this sauce, it's gonna lose a point. Wow. So nine out of ten. What's your final rating? I'm gonna give that a seven. Seven. 
peel the onion off. Mm. Just add more cream. Good morning, welcome. I was gonna say welcome back to a new video. It's not a new video. It is Monday today and I am going horse riding later on, which is so exciting. I'm going with my friend Emily. I'm actually gonna meet her there. It's about half an hour away. So I actually need to get to home. That's just reminded me to go down to the cellar and find out where my riding gear is. I know where it is, it's down there, but Spider Central down there, so he is just out on a bit of a jog so i'm gonna wait for him to get home and then ask him to do that and then what else am i doing today i'm just playing around with some thumbnails i use canva in case you're interested but there's a bit of a process before i've just downloaded adobe so i've got photoshop illustrator adobe sketch so i'm just playing around with my thumbnails at the minute and um yeah being all creative i've got my new notebook and calendar here so doing a bit of a to-do list and jotting down thinking ideas for upcoming autumn and festive season which is very exciting i just had a really nice chilled out relaxed weekend on saturday tom was down in london and stayed overnight so i went with a friend we went on a nice little dog walk with her dogs we went for a drink we got back to hers and she cooked us dinner. On route back, we went by a B&M. These are the bits that I ended up picking up. As you can tell, I got, managed to get my hands on the new summer berries. I did smell it in store and I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not my favorite, but I'm one of these people that I like to have one of everything. So I have a whole collection under my sink of Zaflora, so that will be added to my collection. But once I've used this, I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it. It smells like black currant juice which is fine like it's a really nice scent but it's just not my preferred one so i probably won't repurchase that i did get a paradise peach and also picked up these which my friend who i went to bnm with she is also a hincher and she said these are really good if you put them in your bed sheets when you get into bed at night it smells or like your pillowcases as well smells of lavender and we had a little whiff of these they smell incredible they're only about a pound i think so really really affordable for 40 sheets so picked up them she also gave me one of these which she had a spare one of which was very kind of her because i'm yet to try the method and whenever i go into her house it smells incredible and she said she uses this method antibacterial all-purpose cleaner in wild rhubarb and it does smell delicious I also picked up this from B&M. This is, no, this is from Home Bargains, actually. This is the Febreze fabric, which we needed a new one of. And I picked up Gold Orchid, which I don't think I've ever had before. It says it's new, but I don't actually know how new it is. Speaking of the flora as well, new scents. There is a new one coming out called Secret Garden in September. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for that. And then I also got this, which uh, again, my friend said is really, really good. You can use it on like, your carpets, which there's a few stains on our carpet upstairs in our bedroom. Bit of a fake tan mishap. But also we've got a bit of a stain on our sofa. And um, my friend said she uses it on everything. Like you can use it on throws, pillows, cushions, sofa, carpet. So Yes, that is my little cleaning haul. And now I'm just sipping on my coffee, which I just ran to Booth's to get whilst dropping off Tom's dry cleaning. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Did you miss anything then? What time did I fall asleep? About... No. No. Eight? Then no way. Eight no way. <laughs> yeah. I think I might have been tired, do you? Yeah. But if you only slept, maybe five hours or whatever the night. Oh, mine are quite cooked. So yours, yours quite cooked. No, that's perfect. I've only put pepper in there. Let's check yours. Yeah, I think you have these ones. Is that only two? Yeah. You've only put pepper on? I've only put pepper promise. on. Promise. Yeah. Pepper promise. Go on then. I prefer mine a little more well done than Tom's. What are the different ways you can have eggs? Boiled poached scrambled. Boiled poached scrambled fried. fried. We'll leave a poll up in the corner. Click the little eye button and let's see how you all like your eggs in the morning. Lights out down with my own doubt. Be free with me. Be free. Be free with me. There she is. Oh, oh, oh. Who's Carl's that? Oh, I didn't know you had a new car.
Hello, Ollie. Hello, Ollie. Hi. You're beautiful. I'm a hot sweaty mess and I'm actually just following Emily now so I can't drive and vlog but it was so much fun I got a few clips and um, obviously we were on the horse and I can't whip out a vlog whilst I'm cantering oh Emily's calling good go. and I'm back home horse riding was so much fun it just reminds me of how much I enjoy it let me just put my phone on charge I might start up lessons again with Emily at a different school um, and then maybe go back for the odd hack and everything with them again because it was so much fun. But now that I'm back home, I am gonna get showered and everything, wash this greasy, messy hat hair. And then we're going up to Tom's mum's tonight for dinner. She's cooking for us. So um, I'm gonna end off this vlog here. But before I do, I wanted to just touch on the fact that I was talking to you earlier on about Squarespace, which is what I've been using to uh, redesign and revamp and restart my website or my blog. The first thing that I have done when I've gone on is I've logged in to sign up and put in all my details. It was very simple, very straightforward. And then essentially you just get the option to have a look on their website. Um, they have loads of different tabs and categories and sections that you can choose a template from i personally went specifically to the the blogs tab and chose my favorite design so once you have chosen the template you just kind of have a play around the tabs on the top that you're you're going to want so i've actually added a tab on mine shop which i might talk more about in the next coming weeks. So I'm just in the process of getting all the website converted over my URL transferred over, which is freyofrankton.com. And then I've also um, added all my social links, which is very simple, very straightforward. Essentially what Squarespace is, is it's an online platform that allows you to really easily build your own website. It's kind of built not for dummies, because I don't want to insult, but you know, you don't have to go too much into detail about HTML coding and all sorts of stuff that just is way above my head. I don't understand any of it. Tom's currently downstairs researching it all because he's really into that kind of thing. But I'm more about the SEO and the actual content side in terms of writing a blog post imagery as well I love having a clean minimal website and very simple straightforward and kind of like essentially a hub that houses everything it has all about me it has ways to contact me it has my Instagram YouTube and Twitter it's just so much fun if ever you guys have been interested in starting a blog yourself I'd highly recommend you do it so I'll leave a link to it below where you can also get discount off your first purchase thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you have subscribed and hit that notification bell to be notified when my new videos go up give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will hope to see you in my next one bye guys